Hey everybody, let's draw a camel. I've got my paper oriented portrait style. Even though camels are four legged and tend to kind of be ver horizontal creatures, they're really leggy and very vertical. So I'm going to draw mine going up and down. Okay, so when I draw a camel, I like to start with the nose. I'm going to do a couple slits here for my camel's nose. They have special noses that they can open and close out there in the sandy desert. Coming out of these, uh, off this nose, they've got a really cool set of camel lips. So they've got these kind of big hanging pouches of lips. Got this big lower lip that hangs off of there. Coming on back out of here, they've got kind of these twin lumpy bumps on their heads, and then a couple little camel ears. Something like that. Camels have nice eyes, they have nice long eyelashes. I'll get to that in a little bit. I'll just give him a nice little eye for a second. All right, now to finish off this face, I'm gonna come back here and grab this lip, take it over, kind of down and back up. And that is kind of my camel's head. Now, let's give it that long camel neck. It's easy to forget just how long camel necks are because they really have that hump Everybody thinks, oh yeah, that hump is the thing that makes a camel a camel. And that's true, but they also have this really great neck. So now that I've done, drawn my neck, I can come back up here and I can do my hump. Come on back down on the other side. There you go. Okay, so coming out of the hump, of course, you need the first leg, the front of the leg. I like to do kind of like a a wine glass shape and then they have like circle knees camels have very interesting knees and then coming down out of that just a straight pair of skinny parallel lines so that's going to be my camel's first leg I'll come on over here and do the same thing on the other side behind that first leg Camels have these funny knees that they use to sit down on. They kneel. That's how they get their, uh, how they use those knees. The back legs are kind of weird. I never like drawing the backs of camels' legs. So I'm just going to make their back legs kind of like their front legs. I mean, it is important if you're a camel to have functioning back legs. But when you're just making a cartoon, you can go ahead and skip having to do the uh, absolute, you know, anatomical perfection that is a camel. So, so far we've got a pretty good camel here. Now camels have funny feet. They have two toes. Kind of like an upside down heart. That's all well and good. Now I'm going to try and draw this one over here a little bit differently. Hmm. So it's kind of the same shape, but uh, looked at it from the side, viewed from the side. And the last little detail here is the camel tail. Yeah, nice little kind of hairy tails. Okay, so there is my camel. It's a right stately looking friend. I'm going to go back with my thin line here. Camels have some cool, you know, camel hair. It kind of extends down their necks. They're fuzzy beasts, so don't be afraid to, you know, get fuzzy. They've got, like, hair coming off of their, their, uh, their humps. You know what? I think my pen is starting to die here. Um, their tails back here tend to be kind of hairy, so I'll get a little hair there, a little hairy texture in there. 
um, they have toenails or toenails are just kind of like that just right on the fronts of their toes toenails in there and uh, you know what I think I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this this marker in a second go back and just make sure I've got some nice camel hair up there you can go ahead down here and give them a little shadow under the belly if you want like I said camels are kind of kind of fuzzy creatures they've got camel hair coats is a thing camel hair coats are a thing because they have just really nice hair. Um, back up here, what you can do in this face is you can, you know, give them a little definition around the eye. Camels have really lovely long eyelashes. And, you know, a little detail around the nose, maybe a little nostril action. Help give your camel a little bit more personality. Okay. Unless then, of course, of course, I always put the shadow in. I like to put shadows in because it helps kind of make my creatures stop floating in space and sort of stick them on the ground. It also really helps because camels live in the desert, right, where there's lots of intense sun. So that sun overhead is going to create a nice dark shadow right underneath. So there we go. Lovely camel. All ready to truck through the desert. Okay, friends. Thanks very much for drawing with me today. See you later.